since the time i have come to london many people keep asking me what is the salary of data scientist in london should i move to london or uk or not how much i'll be saving in london and all these kind of things okay in this video i am not going to tell you whether you should come to london or not come to london slash uk rather i am going to tell you the expenses in london since i am here for good amount of time now so i am going to start with basic expenses some expenses which you can't cut which means essential expenses then i am going to talk about the weekend expenses and then i am going to talk about your additional expenses such as india trip and if you are in london then obviously you will go to europe and roam around right so three parts of this video so please take a notepad and pen and start noting down the numbers i am telling you so first of all is the basic expense i have kept everything in this note so that i don't forget anything okay the first basic expense at the time you come here you are not going to buy a house you are going to rent a house so if you are going to rent a house then you have to take a option of either one bed or two bed because three bed is going to be very very expensive so i am talking from london's perspective all these numbers okay so in london if you are going to take a one bedroom flat today as i say today is the date of 3rd september 2023 then you are going to get somewhere in the range of 1350 to 1800 everything i am going to tell in gbp okay in pounds so 1350 to 1800 below 1350 uh, it's very difficult to get a one bedroom flat in london now okay so just keep that in mind below 1350 it's going to be very difficult now one disclaimer here some people say that if you are a couple or if you are a very small family then you can share accommodation with some people like for example if there is a 2 bhk then in one bedroom you can stay another bedroom other family can stay i am not going to talk about those options a simple decent one bhk is going to come in minimum 1350 higher range it can go up to 1800 okay this is your rent now in india if you are two people working since me and my wife are working here two of us so as a couple working in india none of the working couple in india you will see staying in one bhk so if you are eyeing for a two bhk in london right then your expense is going to be just rent i am talking here okay 1600 minimum to 2500 maximum and more than that obviously but a decent number i am telling you okay 1600 to 2500 is your range and depending upon which area depending upon what kind of place you go what kind of room you take 1600 to 2500 is what you can expect okay this is about two bedroom average one bedroom 1500 you can keep average two bedroom 1800 you can keep okay now second expense that i want to talk about is food so if you compare uk and india right then few things you will see it is like 6 times 8 times 10 times expensive i am talking about if you compare inr inr right and few things you will see like it's almost similar price of what is there in india so food uncooked food raw food right is very very as par in price with india i'll say for example if i take apple right so in india also you will get in 120 140 rupees kg here also it's not very expensive okay so this is one thing which is not very expensive food so just to give you a number of how much you will be spending in food it will be somewhere around 250 to 400 depending on what you eat basically okay and you have to shop intelligently which means you cannot go and swipe your card in any random shop okay so there are shops like tesco there are shops like big sainsburys where you can order your food online and that will be little on the you know Uh, cheaper side so that's an intelligent way of doing your shopping if you do all these things then i am keeping a range of 250 to 400 for food remember you have to go for intelligent options big supermarkets not any normal local shops okay average food cost will be around 300 you can keep it like this okay but you have to be really careful where from you are buying this is about expenses and food now let's talk about electricity guys so electricity bill is high here in winter you will give at least 200 to 250 pounds per month for small house okay and in summers you will give let's say 120 to 200 pounds roughly based on how much you use so it will be depending mostly in the winters for heaters in summers it will be you know how much you run your washing machine and all these things but to give a rough estimate 200 to 250 pounds is what you will spend in electricity in winters 120 to 200 in summers water bill will be 
roughly around 50 to 80. So I am giving 50. So let us keep lower number 50, upper number 80. Okay. Council is something that is on top of your rent. So in India, if you compare with India, right? So in India, we give apartment rent plus maintenance charge of the society, right? So in UK, you pay rent plus council tax. Okay. So council tax is basically roughly you can keep around 150 to 200. Now comes internet and mobile, which is very, very cheap. Uh, so 5 pounds to 15 pounds is enough per month for that for mobile recharge. Internet is let us say 50 pounds to 65 pounds per month. I will keep in that range. Medicine. Now you might be hearing that in developed countries, healthcare is free. So it is not black and white that everything is free. Suppose you get ill, you get a prescription and you go to shop then you do not need to pay for the medicine, but for the prescription, every time you get a prescription, you have to pay 10 pounds for that. Okay? Transport. Transport is one main expense. So, every time you go in a bus, you will be paying minimum 1.75 pounds and monthly, suppose um, you are going two days, suppose you are going two days office per, per week. Okay? So, you will go by train. Imagine you stay in London and you go by train to central London, then you will be spending nearly 8 pounds for travel which means 4 pounds one way I am counting here okay and suppose in office you you know you buy a coffee that will be another 4 5 pounds and suppose you eat lunch in the office that will be minimum 10 to 15 pounds okay so office expense I am counting here 25 pounds per day if you go 8 days in a month you will pay 200 pounds okay 8 days in a month not not all the days I am counting 8 days in a month then it will be around 200 pounds for you okay so, if we combine all these things, these are essentials. Essentials means you cannot cut any of these things. You cannot cut rent, you cannot cut food, you cannot cut electricity, you cannot cut internet, water, mobile recharge, you cannot cut going to office. Basic essential expenses, minimum it will come in the range of 2100 to 2300 and higher side, not luxury I am talking about. I am just talking about little higher side, it will go around 2600. Okay? This finishes the part 1 of basic expenses in London, basic expenses which you cannot cut. Okay? Now, if you are coming here, then you will obviously, now we are a couple, we do not have a kid now. So, every everything I am talking, I may not be including kids expenses in this. Okay? Just a couple's kind of expenses I am talking here. So, for example, if you go eating out two people, right? Um, in India, in weekend, you will go for movie, you will go for restaurants, right? So, let us talk weekend expenses, normal weekend expenses. Okay? So, if you go and eat out, then maybe minimum to minimum you will pay 25 pounds for two people and little, you know, little better kind of restaurant, it will go around 60 pounds, 70 pounds easily. Okay? Transportation, if you go two people outside and come back, I am keeping it roughly 10 to 15 pounds. Okay? And if you go for a movie, for example, it will be 25 to 30 pounds easily. So, roughly you can compute, suppose one day uh, me and my wife go out, one day uh, you know two people go out, then it will be if you go out watch a movie, eat outside and go and come back, 80 to, 80 to 100 pounds is what you can assume. I am talking about one day if you go out and come back. Okay? So, there are four weekends in the month depending on you, how many times you want to go, how many times you want to enjoy the movie and all these things you can compute this. Okay? This is about little leisure. Suppose you want to go to India once in, in, in a year or from your home country, you are from Pakistan or you are from Bangladesh or you are from any other country. If you want to go to your home country, so I am saying India again and again because that is how my mind works. I hope you understand that. So suppose if I plan to go to India, so 800 to 1200 pounds is my one person round trip ticket. Okay? So below 800 pounds I do not see tickets. And if you go in festive season, if you go in peak season, then God knows how much it will be. Okay? It will be very, very expensive. But if two of us goes to India and comes back one trip, I am assuming it will be minimum 2000 pounds, that is 2 lakh rupees. Okay? Uh, because in India when you go, you will not only go to Mumbai or Delhi or Kolkata or metro places. right? You will go to your small towns, your hometowns, all these places you will go, then local expenses, then you will take some gifts for people. right? So, all these things roughly it will be 2000 to uh, 2500 pounds you can think like in one trip. Okay? Now, depends on you how many times you want to go in a, in a year or you want to go once in two years. So, that, that is subjective. right? 
so this is about trip to india now let's talk about another expense that is trip to europe or suppose i want to uh, rome in i want to go and you know enjoy paris or i want to enjoy greece so roughly for 3 to 7 days of trip if you do right 1500 to 3000 pounds is what you will end up expending so all in all to take all these numbers together because if you are here then you will obviously enjoy in the weekends if you are here then you will obviously roam europe if you are here then you will obviously want to you know eat indian food and all these things right so roughly in the range of i think excluding kids expenses i am not including kids expenses here if you have a kid and if you want a babysitter to take care of your kid or if you want you know uh, you want to send your kid to some care facilities that's very very expensive here i am not going to talk about those numbers here okay so anywhere between if you remember we calculated 21 to 2300 lower range and 2600 to 2500 upper range for essential expenses if i add these expenses trip to india roaming in europe right then my expenses will come somewhere in the range of 2800 to 3000 okay if you take one trip to india and one local trip for a couple of days within europe or within uk so as you can see i am everything talking from two people point of view so uh, if you compare essential plus little leisure plus little india trip and europe trip then i am assuming it will not come less than 27 2800 pounds per month expense here okay now the main important question is how much do we get if we come to the uk so i know you are getting for this uh, waiting for this obviously so let me tell you very frankly guys in uk right the salary is not so people talk um, like uk us so when i was not in uk i was thinking uk and us are same i mean they they fall in same category but it's not like that okay in us in indian currency i'm telling you okay in indian currency in indian currency 2 crore rupees salary per annum is not something which is very surprising okay so in us if somebody says that i am in us and i am getting a 2 crore rupees indian salary per annum i will not be surprised okay but if somebody is in uk and they say i am getting 2 crore rupees indian salary as my package then i will be surprised the reason for that is salaries are not high in general in uk and entire europe okay salaries are not that great now people may argue this with different things there is security there is healthcare free and blah 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 i am not talking those things but in general uh, uk if you are good in your work that's my experience if you are good in your work then in us sky is the limit okay but in uk sky is not the limit so here the salaries range we are data scientists right we know median maximum range and min max right so if we talk about the range right range is not that high so in general now uh, if as a data scientist 10 years experienced person if you go to market right maybe they will offer you if it's not amazon facebook and google right maybe they will offer you something in the range of 75k to 85k that range that is also not everybody will offer some 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 company will tell you 65 75 also you have to negotiate and tell 80 85 90 this range you have to go okay and if it's amazon facebook google these companies right they may tell you you know 120 130 k plus some stocks these kind of salaries you can expect now don't think like this is your salary so you know it will get divided by 12 obviously no so you have to go i am giving you a link in the description of this video go put your number and see your take home salary okay so your your salary is one thing uh, ctc is one thing and your take home is one thing so please compare your take home and these expenses which i told you now okay i hope you like this video guys if you want me to create more videos around uk and things in here i can do that see you all in the next video wherever you are stay safe and take care